Gatsby. Gatsby's not feeling very well today. Whenever he's hiding in the bathroom in this bed, he's trying to communicate that something he's not feeling well. So I took Gatsby to the vet the other day and they did like a full examination on him and they did find something. His hip on his left side, they said, um, is injured in some way. When the vet was checking, she was like pulling his leg back like this. And then the left side, he started crying when she did it a certain way. And after that, for the next two days, he would just be hiding in the bathroom. Are you okay, sir? Still hiding in the bathroom, huh? When the vet was checking, um, they must have really just like angered his hip. I'm subject to the bathroom. I did notice uh, for this entire year that um, when we would go out to the park to play, he would only last like 10 to 15 minutes. I was just thinking, oh, well, he, you know, he's just out of shape. The vets did mention he needs to lose some weight and that will help remove some stress on his hip. That's what we have been doing. He was like 33 uh, pounds before, and now he's 31 and a half pounds. The vet said that his ideal weight is still 28 pounds. We do have an appointment next week to see the dog chiropractor. Um, they're gonna do some rehab things, check his joints, um, try like a cold laser to see if that helps. I didn't know this whole time that you were struggling with your hip problem. The thing is that he's been living with it for a while now, so I didn't even notice. He still acts like himself, but it was just this past few days when the vet kind of mm. angered his hip. I think that's when, you know, it happened. He just has to stay very calm um, until it, you know, he starts feeling a little bit better. Yeah. Do you feel better already? He's like, I feel better already, you guys. We're already taking um, glucosamine supplements. I'm doing everything I can to help him lose some weight. And we're going to see the doggy rehab people. So hopefully it'll all work out. You gotta get better, okay? I'll make you feel better right now. Yeah. We got time on our side. You just enjoy your when massage, I stay okay? Home. You just need to relax and be a happy corgi, okay? We all love you so much. You guys notice Gatsby has white whiskers and black whiskers. The white whiskers come out on the white part of his fur and the black whiskers come out on the brown part of his fur. <laughs> I love that. It's so cool. He has two different color whiskers right next to each other. Do you like their ears? He loves it. But Gatsby's just watching me. Yeah? <laughs> we got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I'll eat you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. I think it's time for us to start the vlog. summer day it is today with all that smoke in the atmosphere. Be cooking something really cool for dinner so for breakfast it's just gonna be regular stuff just reminds me of home so that's why we're gonna make it there we go portuguese sausage i just slice off a few slices of this uh, eggs are done stick on our portuguese sausage Ooh, those look so good 
look how nice this rice is. I made a lot because we're saving some for what we're going to be eating for dinner. This is totally like the breakfast of Hawaii at McDonald's. They have soy sauce in Hawaii and then they just give you a little packet. That's how you eat it. For breakfast I eat that along with an almond milk protein shake. The same thing that I've been making for a while now. So I use unsweetened almond milk. 8 to 10 ounces. Almond butter as well. I'm just using chocolate protein right now. So what I do is I eat my breakfast first and then you drink the protein shake. Because if you do it the other way around you can't, like, the protein shake makes you really full. The trifecta. <laughs> You're such a cuddly, quirky Gatsby. It's time for us to play another ukulele song. In the comments below, try to guess what song I am playing and by who. I wanted to reveal to you guys what I have been working on for the past few months. Ta-da! Our late summer merchandise launch that I have been teasing for the past few weeks is finally here! Check out the design! Gatsby playing some ukulele on the beach. Take it easy. I've chosen some really cool colors that it's available in, including this heather blue, mint green, yellow gold, Heather Orchid, and a special tie-dye blue. Not only that, but we also have tank tops. This is such a vibe, check it out. We have this white chalk, neon pink, and teal green. These are like my favorite, and I think these turned out so good. There's so many fun colors to choose from. But not only that, we also have our bucket hats. They are back in stock, including the new tie-dye color here. Both of them are reversible. Ta-da! And so if you missed your chance last time to pick up the bucket hat, make sure to grab it. Do I look like a TikToker now? Not only that, we have a surprise. The dad hats are back in stock along with this new color. So I had mentioned in the last vlog that we had been working on some tie-dye dog bandanas. Those are still coming, but they have been delayed. So if you're looking forward to those, they're coming soon. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, make sure to go to corgionfleet.com at the end of the vlog to get any of this new merchandise. You would be really supporting Gatsby and me. I ship out everything myself. And don't forget to tag us when you get your new merchandise. Hashtag corgionfleet. This new shirt is like my favorite. It looks so good. It's such a vibe. Um, Perfect for the end of summer. These are all yours, Gatsby. That's all you. This is all you, Gatsby. Gatsby, I'm trying to... No! You monster. Oh, no. Okay, I made it to the Asian market. We are going to go and grab some food for dinner. We're going to be making katsudon, which I am excited to make. So, let's go. Ooh, nectarine season. Gotta find Japanese parsley. There it is. Gotta get one of these. 
fancy panko. This is all panko breadcrumbs. Look, you can smell like white musk. John's blend. Has anyone had this gold ramen here? Look, you can get skin like a baby. <laughs> I used to eat this. The flavor of the gum goes away in like two seconds. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got the ingredients and it's time for us to head back home. He's still inside the bathroom. I got my stuff for my dinner. Okay, it's time for us to make our tonkatsu don. I got the recipe from Just One Cookbook. I will put the link in the description below. Tonkatsu is pork cutlet and I thought that we will do it in the air fryer, which is a lot healthier. We got some fancy panko breadcrumbs. Since we are not gonna be deep frying the panko, is to first brown the panko. Okay, I think it's getting toasty. We're gonna add some olive oil, mix this up. I think this is about as brown as I want it to be, so I'm gonna turn this off. So we're just gonna put it onto a plate and let it cool down. Our dashi, which is kind of like a fish broth, it comes in like tea bag form. Two minutes, starting now. Next, we got our pork loin over here. This is already cut to a tonkatsu style. This has too much fat on the edge, so she said you just want to cut it off. Just make little cuts here. This one has multiple connective tissues, so I'm just gonna cut them all. Move it over. Preheat the air fryer. Sprinkle some all-purpose flour over. Dip it in the egg wash fully. Make sure it's fully egged. And then we stick it in the breadcrumbs. Those look really good. Okay, next. Let's see. Okay. So we're doing it for 20 minutes and we're gonna flip it. All right, there we go. <gasps> we interrupt this cooking to feed the corgi. <gasps> He's like, what? Half of the raw food right now and half of, um, we're gonna go back to the other food, just food for dogs. He gets three ounces of this food, which is vitamins, rice, carrots, chicken, glucosamine supplement. Here we go. Yes. Dinner time. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. She's like, poor me. I don't even get that much food anymore. Yes, I'm giving you only 10% less food than before. That's what the vet said. Now we are continuing on with the food. So we are, I just cleaned everything. <laughs> Japanese mitsuba, this is Japanese parsley. It looks like cilantro to me, but I guess it tastes like parsley. So we are going to make the sauce now. We need to get one cup of our dashi broth. We have two tablespoons of sake, so I bought just this one cup sake. Two tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, sugar. That totally looks like legit tonkatsu there. Wow. So you want to use like a, like an omelet sized pan. I'm gonna put the onions inside. So we got to make the egg for the donburi. All right, now that it's boiling, we're gonna reduce the heat a little bit and we cook it until the onions get translucent. Two. And then we're gonna pour egg over it. Okay, and then we cover it for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I have to get my rice bowl. It's done. I'll just pour this over the rice. I should have done a little bit more egg, but oh well. <laughs> Usually you want like lots of egg mixed in there. Ta-da! So usually it's so eggy that you need like a spoon to eat this, but I think that since I didn't have that much egg, it'll just, you can eat this pretty easily. Okay, it's time for me to try it out. Here we go. It's good. So it's like crispy, but since it was like slightly inside of the, um, the sauce, which is kind of like a soy sauce 
slightly sweet, not quite teriyaki. And then you eat it with rice and then the onions that are sweet, of course. Mm. <laughs> Just the right amount of sweetness and it's like salty a little bit, savory. The katsu, the tonkatsu is crispy. It tastes exactly like it's deep fried. <laughs> I can't even tell the difference. Anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this now and continue on with the vlog. I give it a 10 out of 10. I think we found the corky. <laughs> hey Gatsby, are you feeling better? You're not hiding in the bathroom anymore? Okay, so I just went through and counted all the t-shirts that I got. Um, there's not that many. <laughs> there's still a shortage on uh, t-shirts and tank tops, so I stocked as much as I could. Although it looks like I got a lot of stuff, there really is like not that much. There, it's it's really like only 10. This is like all the youth t-shirts that I got. Cause that was all that they had. Okay, other than that though, we are going to be heading to bed. I'm going to be taking really good care of Gatsby. Okay, so he's already out. He's like, I just want to rest. Next week we have the appointment with the physical therapist so they can do a better job at letting me know what I need to do. Um, hopefully he feels a lot better after the chiropractic work and like the cold laser that they had mentioned that they'll do. Make sure to go and check out Corgi on Fleek.com for all the latest merchandise that I just launched. Other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Good night! In my last video, I got my Invisalign taken off, and if you didn't see that video, make sure to check it out. I really like it. <laughs> a lot of you guys were kind of shocked when I said that I turned 33. <laughs> because um, you were like, wait, I thought you said on your birthday cake it said 26. For those of you who haven't noticed, um, my birthday cake has said 26 like every year. <laughs> those are the candles that I have, so yeah. Hey Cassie, check out this awesome fan. Everybody, today I thought I would try taking the Japanese, Chinese, or Korean identification test.